Turkey's Baykar company has begun ground tests of its Bayraktar Kizilelma drone, described as the country's first unmanned fighter aircraft. Accompanying imagery of the tests, at the Akinsi Flight Training and Test Center in the northwestern province of Tekirdag, which included taxi runs ahead of its first flight, provide us with our best look so far at this unique uncrewed air vehicle. This would appear to be aimed at a range of combat roles and which is also supposedly being developed for operations from aircraft. The Kizilelma, meaning red apple in Turkish, has been developed by Baykar, which is responsible for the Bayraktar TB2 that has seen notable combat success in the hands of Azerbaijan and Ukraine, as well as the larger Bayraktar Akinsi. The Kizilelma is a very different proposition, however, claimed to be supersonic, at least in later versions, having a degree of reduced observable characteristics and tailored for the kinds of air combat missions typically undertaken by manned fighter jets. Powered by a single Ukrainian-designed Evchenko Progress turbofan engine, the Kizilelma has a canard delta configuration of the kind seen on some other reduced observable combat aircraft designs, including China's J-20 manned fighter and mysterious dark sword drone. The use of canards is a trade-off between low observability and maneuverability, although some measures can be taken to limit their impact on radar signature. The tail surfaces consist of canted vertical stabilizers. According to the technical requirements, the Kizilelma should have an endurance of 5 to 6 hours, a combat radius of 500 nautical miles, and a service ceiling of 35,000 feet. Maximum takeoff weight is 13,228 pounds, including a payload of 3,306 pounds. That payload will include disposable stores carried in an internal weapons bay, further preserving its stealth characteristics. Weapons are likely to include examples of the wide range of air-to-ground precision munitions and air-to-air -air missiles developed by Turkish industry. While the first prototype Kizilelma, and other early versions, are expected to be powered by a non-afterburning of Chenko Progress AI-25 TLT turbofan, this is planned to be replaced on later versions by an afterburning of Chenko Progress AI-322F, which should ensure supersonic performance. Even with the non-afterburning engine, the Kizilelma should offer impressive performance for a drone, with a maximum speed close to Mach 1. Ultimately, there is a plan for a twin-engine version, with a pair of AI-322FS, for further improved performance. Even with the non-afterburning engine, the Kizilelma should offer impressive performance for a drone, with a maximum speed close to Mach 1. Ultimately, there is a plan for a twin-engine version, with a pair of AI-322FS, for further improved performance. In its initial form, the engine exhaust is decidedly non-stealthy, although it's feasible that low observable characteristics could be improved by refining this area, something that Russia is doing with its Okotnik drone. But really, this aircraft has features to reduce its radar cross-section from certain angles, such as the fuselage chine lines, but clearly, high performance has been weighted more heavily than low observability. This is not something that we see typically in UCAVs, with the possible exception of the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, at least to some degree.